Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium with my lovely assistant, Hello. who's still single, by the way, ladies. <laughs> Hank. So tonight we are going to be opening that Afinapalma hensai egg sac. What kind of numbers are you guessing? 421. 421? That's what I would guess. Okay, I'm going to say 329. How many viable? 421. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> My first guess was 79, so I gotta make a better second guess. <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, 100%. Why not? Let's just, yeah. You know. You gotta stay positive. Yeah, right? Positive energy. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, well, I guess I should just give you a rundown. We just built this handy dandy incubation chamber. This is my standard deal. It's a deli cup, water on the bottom, uh, the rim from another deli cup inside with a clean towel. And this is actually a fruit fly container, so it has some ventilation with holes on the side so you can um, add water or take out water if you like. But it's very important that you don't let the hammock get wet because then you're gonna have some moldy, rotten eggs. Nobody likes that. So anyway, let's bust that bad boy out. Let's do it. Okay, so here's mom. This is day 27. Uh, a lot of times I pull off at like three weeks. Do you remember at around 21 days, Hank, when I was texting you and calling you and he was too cool. He was too cool. So, yeah, here we are on day 28. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the fact that she is still guarding it indicates that the sack is viable. And it's not perfectly round, as they often are not. So that's really not anything to worry about. Obviously, she's going to be fed and watered and now for the moment of truth this it should feel very light and cottony and the eggs should move around loosely so check that out so if it's not white or if it feels like the eggs are kind of stuck together or that it's hard that's a sign that your egg is your egg sac has already started turning so that's really good news. And usually they are more circular than this, but I mean, it's cool. Try and separate the vermiculite. This species is relatively slow to develop. So, um, some species would be already in like a first in star stage by this point, but not these. I'm expecting to see eggs with legs at this point. Lots of layers of silk. Be careful not to chop any babies. So, okay, there we go. I'm in. There's some kiddos on the top there. So far, I'm seeing everybody's alive. So that's awesome news. They are still in kind of a prenatal stage. This is their very first malt. 
So people call it eggs with legs because that is essentially, they pretty much just look like the egg, but just with little legs sticking out. So they are alive. This is a non-feeding stage. They need to be pretty much incubated until they are at a feeding stage, which for this species and most species of tarantula is actually two more molts. So their first instar molt, they will look like a tiny little tarantula. And then their second instar molt, they'll look a little more like they almost kind of have like they they just kind of look black or gray in the first molt and then in the second by the second instar they're already kind of starting like it looks like they have little hairs and stuff so the fun part so you get your incubation chamber ready Oh, that was one that looks like it turned. I get a lot I get a lot of weird comments about how this looks like food. Okay, so there were a couple that I see that might not be good. Uh, one advantage of taking the egg sac from the mom is you know for sure she's not gonna eat it. Um, if you need to take it before this stage, it's actually a huge commitment because the moms roll the sacks every few hours and so if you have a cannibalistic mom that you have good reason to think that she'll eat her egg sac early on if she's really nervous then you have to come and turn it at least twice a day and I used to think that you needed to come and turn it really delicately and I've come to learn that you actually need to somewhat like jostle it around a little bit and it kind of keeps them broken apart, which is very important. Gosh. So them just coming right out of the egg sac the way most of them did is a really good sign. A lot of times it'll be a little bit sticky and a lot of them will stick. So like this group here might be in trouble. I'm gonna kind of look through them now. Uh, at this point I'm going to try and separate them. You ideally don't want really any of them touching each other but you might notice here it's a little trouble spot. So you want to remove that because that spore will grow um, and it's going to taint all the other ones around it too. And so that will need to be separated. There's another piece there. I'm worried. See how these ones are just starting to kind of turn gray? That little batch that was stuck they may not make it, but I'm gonna give them a chance. And if they look like they're doing okay, I'll let them stay in there. But um, another thing you could do is actually set up two incubation chambers, one for the questionable eggs. See, like this one here. That was one egg, that, that was two eggs one that died and one that started to develop and so the little part that's in my tweezers that is the bad egg that's starting to turn but it has a little egg with legs stuck to it so if I can I'm going to separate those of course extremely fragile so uh, to hard to know what's what. Oh, 
there we go. So there was the bad egg that I separated from the good egg. Really it's best to go through and do that with each little piece. So I'm going to remove these um, pieces that need to be taken out and um, things are looking good. So far this was definitely a good egg sack. How many do you think are in there? Uh, 421. Stick into your guns, stick huh? Stick into my guns. Awesome. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll stick with my original guess too. <laughs> and it looks like a few of the eggs were not viable and that's okay. Uh, that probably just means that a couple of them out of all the whole group were not fertilized. So, as I was saying, if you leave those bad eggs in there, they can actually turn the whole nest. But if you remove those couple of little bad parts, but the other ones tend to develop just perfectly fine as long as you remove those tainted areas. So I would say that this was a successful reproduction. Congratulations, Daddy. How does it feel to be the father of hundreds? It was pretty good. <laughs> We're gonna crack open the champagne tonight. So do you have any questions about this process or their development? So how long does it take? Uh, after this like what's what's next after this? Uh, they're gonna molt out into their first and first instar and then second instar in the next few weeks and so we'll just watch them we'll look for any other moldy areas um, basically just keeping them warm and safe and dry and they should develop just fine by second instar that's a feeding stage you start feeding and at that point everyone who starts feeding those are animals that are typically going to survive and then you know how many babies you're going to have gangster yes and that's when you actually have to separate them and individually house them which is the really fun part yeah do they like eat each other if you don't individually mm -hmm. house them definitely that's what i was guessing yeah all right well i hope you guys like this one make sure to like comment share and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time